I've been with GE for about three and a half, four years now, and I've moved over to Australia to assist in GE's first wind farm project for renewable energy. As a kid, I used to ride my push bike down here and go fishing with my mates down on the wharf. Now I work for GE, and I find myself down here unloading for a wind farm that we're building out at Mumbitta. The scale of these things just never ceases to amaze me. The sheer size as they come off the ship, they're just a massive piece of machinery. We have the tower sections coming from Malaysia, we've got the blades coming from Santos in Brazil, and the hub turbine section coming from Salzburg in Germany. So the logistics part of this is a normal day-to-day -day activity for GE. Once we discharge the equipment from the port, we then dispatch it to the lay-down area. We go from here, we take it up to site, we install it, we commission it, and we get it onto the local grid for our end user, which is our customer. The satisfaction providing Western Australia with the renewable green energy is enormous. This is the operations centre for the wind farm construction. Being part of a green energy company that is providing power for the district that I grew up in is something I'm really proud of. This is the 50 metre blade sections that power the turbine. Top of the blade will have the serrated edges, which is a GE innovation, you could say cutting edge, and when in operation, it reduces the noise level. This area in my younger days was virgin bush. Since then, we've developed it to prime lamb and cereal growing, and then we have been approached to go into wind farming. We think it's a great idea. We see no great problem with the farming business. We can farm between it and around it, and I can't wait to see it. Wind business to a growing business, because wind is everywhere in the world. I think my job makes the world a little better, cleaner.